guys update so we're doing well I'm doing front bearings as you can see they were bad had quite a bit of play especially on the front right one and noisy anyways as you can see this is clean this is me after cleaning it it's looking nice I gotta say something about this this black paint obviously I couldn't reach all of it when I when you know when everything was on so I'm gonna repaint basically everything from from here back of the knuckle some of it it's still there's still paint on it some of it uh, some of the paint came off because it was painted on grease I didn't really pay attention just kind of you know painted everything well as far as I could reach so some of it came off but a lot of it didn't with me spraying a lot of brake cleaner right on the paint right on the grease everywhere I think I went through three cans of maybe even four cans of brake cleaner this stuff here wire brushed it cleaned off the most of the rust you know some rust is okay I'm not gonna paint the inside here no 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 that's no this is gonna get the wax treatment so just around it basically everything besides the caliper and the inside here so everything in the back ah, you know mostly the, the knuckle the knuckle part of it there's something else I'm gonna also paint I decided to go outside and inside and that's the back plates you can see they are they haven't painted while they were on but not over here these are the old bearings by the way some generic stuff maybe I'm not sure I actually took one of them off a few days ago you can do this at home guys and this is very easy let me quickly explain I'm not we didn't go through the process because there's many videos out there how to do front hub bearings but basically you got the first thing you do after you take the wheel off is remove this 12 mil bolt here that holds the brake line uh, then remove the two 17 mil bolts holding the caliper first you want to kind of stick a screwdriver in there and pry these apart a little bit so you have an easier time putting these on the rotor then you take the rotor off and then you have the four 17 mil bolts and pop these open unscrew them and then you just knock the hub out and it comes out and that's it what I'm gonna do I'm also gonna apply a little bit of oil on these seals here when I'm ready to put these back on and also the inside is gonna get wax treatment here oh I made it dirty oh no not a dirty no no dirt this needs to be perfect all right never mind so we're gonna paint these and today we're gonna install the rear window seal which is gonna be a separate video and I'm gonna be able to take the front the, the back hatch inner skin door skin in their hatch skin you know the inside panel out and we're gonna clean out the dirt the garbage that's inside I bet you there's a lot inside the hatch clean that out air that out and give it the wax treatment and I just noticed a dent we got a dent right here hmm. and I got some tires Geolander ATG015 Yokohamas. This is no, you know, 25 inch lift, you know, the ultimate off road vehicle. You know, this is going to be just a highway car hauler, occasional car hauler, daily family car. Okay, we're not doing, you know, I don't know, superchargers here lifting this thing out with you know fucking going desert hunting or whatever just just relax okay just a regular guy here making his new ride perfect okay well it's drying time nice and shiny
you can see how the brake cleaner washed off the wax a little bit but the black paint nothing did not budge at all all right hopefully you guys can see just fine and the heater is going to be on this guy has a yeah this guy has a 10 mil bolt and i see nothing else so it's gotta be those lovely uh you know those lovely push pins so we we'll start somewhere oh, I see a cat there you go I'm gonna get as close as possible to the push pin so you don't bend or make a mark on the panel you know don't don't do this okay another one right here oh come on you see that leaves already falling off. You know, I should have replaced these after I did this. Now this thing is just... Before it would be stuck right over here. It would be so convenient. Now I gotta fight with it. I wonder if the window needs to be open. I'm gonna open the window. Check if any of the pins stayed on the door. Not a single one. Check this out. This this bent out. All right. So I'm gonna just pop it back in and bend it back. I gotta close the window. There's uh, quite a bit of vegetation in here, guys, and I think I see some rust. No, that's just dirt. Whew. Let me get you in here. That's the rust I thought it was, but it's not. And then looky here. Come on, I gotta hold this with one finger. See that? Check that out. It's quite a bit, huh? Alright, so basically just gonna clean that out, wipe it off with degreaser, you know, make it look nice, and wax it. And then just put it back together and that's gonna be it oh yeah and the rear hatch window seal that's gonna be a different video this is what i took out parts of the seal and just dirt look look at this fix your seals guys because you're asking for trouble and this is still moist guys unexpected update so started vacuuming right and I saw this sound deadening stuff kind of coming off in one corner. So I pulled it and would you know, look at this, this is rust in two spots there and on the right side. That is rust. new hatch or clean this off and give it the chassis saver treatment and then maybe come back and stick on a new piece of sound deadening I'm gonna start cleaning see how it goes guys about uh, 30 minutes of elbow grease this is what it looks like now the rust is here all this and a little bit where was it? right here okay this is 80 grid or whatever this is 60 grid 60 grid that's all I'm gonna do I'm leaving this rust because I have that chassis paint and this should be good this should seal that up with no issues what I plan to do is I'm gonna paint the whole thing where the sound deadening was after cleaning it obviously and to come tomorrow I'm gonna spray no actually I'm not I'm gonna spray the bottom only with the wax Mzoil stuff 
all on the bottom or maybe even not maybe I'll just wait till I'm gonna, I'm gonna order a sound deadening pad I guess stick it on the black paint and then I'm, I will spray the wax thing I mean the, taking the, this panel off I mean it took me what two minutes or so maybe five so that's not an, a, an issue at all and taking this off that's a few 10 mil bolts this just kind of hangs like that and then taking where is it this guy off that's another bolt right here which is this another 10 mil and then three 10 mils right here and this and then you gotta unplug this plug and this guy comes off I'm gonna clean this up too grease up the the latch mechanism clean this up and put this bad boy back in and that's gonna be it this should be protected unexpected extra work but it is what it is I'm glad I caught it you know that's why I bet you this is why you see all these because like out of nowhere you see rust random rust spots just appear out of nowhere on your you know rear hatches or whatever that's the reason <sighs> all right guys so you know the rest is obvious what i'm gonna do i guess i'll, I'll show you the result see you later oh so beautiful just brings a tear to my eye a tear of happiness <laughs> i love it <laughs>